The marine life seen at Cabbage Tree Bay is spectacular, but it hasn't always been this way. The bay became a no-take aquatic reserve in 2002 and now provides protection for local marine life, including five endangered species. Ecodivers president, Dave Thomas, says making this area a reservation means there's no fishing of any kind and people can't collect anything. Even the humble seaweed is protected. In 1991, uh, we dived here mainly looking for old bottles and uh, pulling out a lot of lead and melting that down for dive weights. There were basically no fish. There was also a lot of uh, debris here and a lot of uh, other junk in the water. Uh, since 2002, the marine life has slowly sort of come back and the other wildlife around the, the edges of the park too, a lot of the growth and the habitat has, has rejuvenated. Well, there's, there's probably about 400 odd species of fish in here, but there's resident fish and there's pelagic fish that come and go. But the best part about this bay now is it's starting to get biomass, which is juvenile fish, large breeding fish, all, all, and all through the sort of the stages of the fish's life. I'm swimming out here with 40 dolphins in Cabbage Tree Bay Aquatic Reserve. It's absolutely amazing. Local vet, ichthyologist and Australian Museum volunteer Jane Stevenson says she's seen a number of species recover when she snorkels in the bay. I'd say in the last six or seven years I've noticed a big difference both in the numbers and the behaviour. The other thing I have noticed is an enormous increase in the number of juveniles. You see large schools of tiny little fish of juveniles of all sorts of species and that's a wonderful sign because that's a sign of the health of, of the water here, the health of, of the whole bay. It's a very popular place for people to dive, snorkel and swim because of the usually calm waters and the amazing marine life, which seems to be content to share its domain with these privileged observers. Uh, ideally, most people just take photos and leave bubbles. Well, it's almost tropical out there with the variety of vegetation and sea life that you see. It's a pearl of a place. There's very few places more beautiful, and I don't think that there are very many places more beautiful under the water. It's a responsibility on everyone, I think, to see that this is preserved, uh, and I think that the declaration of the no-take zone is a great move in the right direction. I enjoy the fact that it is a no-take zone, so I can see all the marine life untouched. But I do strongly believe that it benefits the fishermen as well. Having nurseries like this, where the po fish populations can grow strong and healthy, and so you can fish them outside of the reserve. This bay is unique, as only 1% of the area from Nelson Bay to Wollongong is a no-take aquatic reserve. The South Head Marine Sanctuaries team are currently pushing for three similar reserves to be declared on the eastern suburbs at Camp Cove, Bondi and Bronte to Coogee. But Dave Thomas still doesn't believe it's enough to ensure the protection of our oceans and its inhabitants. Everything in the ocean is a wild creature. It's a resource that is there for humanity, it's not there for individuals. And unfortunately it's being over commercialised, overfished and globally. And uh, crunch time will come within the next few years and then it will be like, why didn't you do, why didn't you stop, why didn't you do this? And unfortunately the measures we have in place aren't good enough.